Hi, welcome back. My name is Vicki Lynn. This is my cooking channel and this is Cooking Vegan with Vicki. Today we're going to make some oat clusters, which are a great little snack to have, little oatmeal cookies, but super clean. And what we're going to start with, I'm going to bring you down just so you can see a little bit better. So our first ingredient we're going to do is banana. You want them really ripe. So I'm gonna do a couple different batches because I wanna do some different flavors. So we're just gonna mash the banana. Some of these guys and I got hit on the way home from the grocery store yesterday. So they were either gonna get frozen for an ice cream or we're gonna make little cookies. Okay. So now in this batch, Super simple. We're using a flax egg. You can use applesauce, um, but I'm gonna use a flax egg. I think they turn out better with a flax egg. So I've done one flax egg and you do it, you know, five, 10 minutes before you need it. And it's one tablespoon of flax flour and two to three tablespoons of water. And then you just let it gel. There we go. So we're gonna add that. And then to this, we're going to add a couple of dates. Now I have some just medjool dates here. They're so nice and gooey. I'm only gonna use three. You can use as many as you want if you want it sweeter, if you don't want it as sweet. So I'm actually gonna do three and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna chop them really, really small because they're so gooey, especially when they're fresh. Now if you get them and they've dried out or you have the other dates, can't remember the name of them, um, you can get them in the big pack at Costco and stuff. They're not um, medjool dates. Anyway, they if they kind of get a little dry on you, if you don't use them fast enough, just pop them in the microwave. But with the medjool dates, always remember that there's a pit, so you want to take that out. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll get I was thinking two might be enough. We'll put three this time. Okay. And this recipe is almost done. So we're just gonna blend this in. You wanna just make sure that you're blending to get the dates kind of all incorporated nicely. Oh, sorry, so if your dates are dry, dry out a little bit, you can always just put them in the microwave for a couple of seconds. And we've preheated our oven to 350. All right, now, for this batch, I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon. Now these freeze really well, and I would say maybe a teaspoon of cinnamon teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And then we're gonna add a cup of oats. Mix that all together. add nuts to this too if you want and then just have fun with some extracts and some flavoring I think I'm gonna do some chocolate ones and some caramel ones I have some caramel extract I'm gonna give it a try okay so it's all mixed in and again you just want to kind of make sure all that date is mixed in I love dates I'm gonna get a scoop. And now all we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop these into a baking sheet. Now I have silk pad on mine. You could use parchment paper. I do try to have stuff that we don't have to throw out all the time. I did see that they have come out with reusable parchment paper. So, but I have not tried that yet.
And this is, again, very quick. Anytime you want a little snack. I'm just gonna add that one to this one. And there you go, we're gonna pop these in the oven. So we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes, and then they will be golden brown and delicious to eat. Hope you're enjoying this recipe. See you soon.